time to wake your grind up So we can shine up Until our time's up <laughs> Yeah uh, I can't approve that I can't lose How should I kill him? Left for the right man I can't choose I am unstoppable Had to prove that it's possible If you wanna try me Step up and I'm crossing you yeah, the trophy at the trophy, now they call me Kobe Veins full of purple, can't nobody hold me Hey, put that work in every day Shooting shots till my arm hurt, see the fade away Thank God every day, he's with me when I play Went from YMCA to Team USA So I am here to stay, do it for my state Do it for that Northwest, I'm feeling like I'm yay You do it for the grand, I do it to be great I do it for the dub like IT and Nate a born runner, never settle for almost Put me in the gang, coach, yeah, that's all, folks Veins are purple, my veins are purple Go and get it, don't let them hurt you Veins are purple, veins are purple Take some patience, but it's a virtue Veins are purple, veins are purple Go and get it, don't let them hurt you Veins are purple, veins are purple Take some patience, but it's a virtue just don't worry about it, just keep playing. And it just seemed like time stood still for that moment. So it really hit hard for me. I got Del Hennings and Adam. Um, those are my guys, man. <laughs> I mean, they literally watched me grow up. Uh, my name is Daryl Henning, Senior Athletic Director here at the Rotary Boys and Girls Club. Um, director of the Seattle Rotary Style Basketball Program. Um, our program's been in um, existence since 1996. Uh, I've been the director of the program since, that, since its inception. Um, I've had the honor in uh, knowing Mr. Jalen Noel for some 15, 16 years now. Right, my name is Coach Andrew Bernard. Uh, I usually go by Coach Stro. Uh, I've been coaching at the Rotary for over 20 years now. He started out coming to the Boys and Girls Club when he was in kindergarten. He went to St. Therese Elementary School. And uh, we have a little bitty basketball program, uh, kindergarten through second graders. Um, that was the first time we laid eyes on him. And, um, you know, he joined the club through basketball. Um, but then he started coming to the club every day as an after school member. My name is Adam Sedlick and uh, I'm the program specialist here at the Rotary Boys and Girls Club. I've been working up here for about uh, 20 years. Uh, so it goes way back to when um, I graduated from college and I started working with the Boys and Girls Club organization and I ended up here at Rotary. I started working in the tutoring program. That's how I was hired as a tutoring specialist um, fresh out of college. Going there after school, though, I feel like those moments have helped me to become a better person. And we would, like, there was a certain time that we had to go upstairs and do a homework. So we would get there. Me and Josh would literally rush. We would say hi to everybody. We would just rush to the gym so we can get there and play in the gym for a good 15 minutes. We would just be trying to hide, not trying to go upstairs. Um, man, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, was, he's just always been a pleasure to be around. Um, you could see it in kindergarten that he was a special ball player, but um, what I like more so about him is, you know, just the kind of kind of kid and the kind of young man that he is. You know, he, he would come in daily from kindergarten through ninth grade. My last class I finished with was Jalen Noel and Dejon Davis and guys, class of 2017. Do his homework, get his things done, unprompted. Um, never had a problem with him. Then we, they would eventually just kick us out. Uh, so we would have to do our homework and it literally right, right when they say we don't have to do any more homework, we went straight back to that gym. Comes from a beautiful family. Um, I have also had the, the, the honor of working with his younger brother Shane, um, who's also you know a good ball player in his own right. But you know you can tell by the way that they are being raised um, that they they've you know been given some excellent tutelage on how to be be you know quality young men. Three or four wide open layups. We're airballing wide open three pointers down here on defense. You guys are letting the little guys come on. Do what you do your job, Isaac. You're five steps off of your dude, and they throw it from the baseline to half court. My name is Shane Noel. I'm in uh, eighth grade, class of 2021, and uh, I'll be attending Eastside Catholic next year. And uh, I play for Seattle Rotary. 
for all my life since preschool. Uh, so in preschool, I was pretty tall than everybody, so it was easy to score layups and stuff. But then as, my, as I grew up, my dad told me that I needed to improve on my jumper because uh, just attacking the glass wouldn't work every single time, every possession. So as the years went on, I started working out with my brother a little bit more and then just improving my game all around, such as ball handling, uh, mid-range. Man, that man Shane, he about to be 6'10". Yeah, she about to be like 6'10". <laughs> Point guard. Started playing football when I was in second grade, I think it was. Uh, my dad introduced me to it. I was just so good at the sport, and then it just came naturally that I should just play. Then I started playing for up to eighth grade, then uh, stopping now. Everybody who's seen him play, they say he plays like Tony Roden. Shane. Oh, yeah, Shane. He, and he's lefty. And he's lefty. Yeah, he was going to die. He's sneaky with it. Sneaky. Uh, my goal for this year in high school basketball is adjusting to the speed of the game. Uh, I would say definitely the physicality. Definitely need to get better at my shooting, free throws and threes. Just adjusting to the point so I can become one of the best in the state, definitely. And just keep uh, improving every year to get to that top level in college, the D1 uh, basketball player, just like my brother. Uh, and then just keep on improving to get to that ultimate goal, which is the NBA. And just do what my dad wanted me to do. Nolan shit, I like him. Nolan, Nolan always reminded me of Westbrook. He's gonna, I, he's gonna be an elite point guard. I like him. Come back for them games. I'm definitely gonna be there. Yeah, that's like a new era. That's like a whole new. It's like basically when we first got in high school, all over again, really. Yeah, honestly. Oh, yeah, senior year, it's gonna be nice. But them dudes right now, they're like the, I think they're like number two in the country. Offensively, Jermaine and Shane. Shane, if we're going this way, you always want to be on this side. All right, so you want to be over here, Jermaine. You want to be on this side. Them big dudes can't stay in front of you guys. So as soon as we pass it here. This guy sprint out, attack him. Come on, let's go up 20 right here, all right? Let's go up 20. But listen, listen, listen. It's going to take defensive effort, all right? Box it out and rebound, and, and let's run at him. They're tired already. Run at him every time, all right? Let's go. Family on three, one, two, three. Family. They got good chemistry, too. They've been playing together since forever. Like everything they're going through right now. I, I'm saying, like, I never see no kids make as many extra passes as them. I 
Isaac's already banging out too. Isaac, Paulo. Shane. Shane's banging out. Jermaine. Jermaine oh, caught a yeah. nasty one. Yeah. Jermaine caught a nasty one on somebody. Oh, uh, right now my favorite is Russell Westbrook. It's hot. Hey. Off the floor here. Westbrook. Westbrook got that ball away on the alley oop, and here it comes the other way. Williams tries to oh my god. Get him! Triple and move after terrific move by Russell Westbrook. He's definitely my uh, favorite because the way he plays every single game, he brings that special effort, which is just amazing to watch day in and day out. Well, I've been improving on my three-point uh, game, so definitely bringing the, that on my back is the three-point, and definitely my mid-range and my rebounding. I think that that's what definitely separates me from others, and my passing, that's what I would say, and my scoring a little bit scoring. Just because of how long, how long I am makes it look easy, but to me it looks like uh, I look off, but you will say just make it look so effortlessly because of the, how lanky I am. And you know, I, I know they knew their mother and knew their father, um, you know, RIP. Um, great man, was a, was a volunteer basketball coach here at Rotary as well, and just kind of uh, one of the pillars in the community, uh, Mike was. Um, you know, he'll definitely, he's definitely been missed, and um, you know, we, you know we, we love him to death. Um, but, you know, his, but mom, Lanny Noel, is, is holding things down. Um, you know, it's, it's been a pleasure to watch Jalen grow. When Jalen started playing basketball, he uh, would, well, before he actually started, <laughs> he would, um, just run around the house shooting on the hoops. Okay, I'm Freddie Noel. I'm Jayla's grandmother on his father's side. And I remember the day they came to Atlanta to tell me that she was pregnant with Jayla. And they took a picture of, they had the camera rolling and had me to guess that she was pregnant at that time. My first grandchild, and it was a boy. We were so excited. <laughs> no one could put him down. Uh, we were all afraid that he wasn't ever gonna walk because someone always was holding him. So proud that he had a son. <laughs> he had a daughter, so he was so proud he had this son. And... From the beginning, Mike put a basketball in Jalen's hands, and I don't think he has put it down since. He knew that he was gonna have him go into his footstep of, I think he must have had him on the basketball court when they was about three. When he started at, at Rotary, um, there were a few kids from his school and they all got together and Mike and um, another father coached them. He has always been our little rambunctious little boy running around the house, getting into trouble. Everyone was always chasing him around. You know, one of the stories I remember, um, you know, his, his dad was the coach when he was in second grade, I believe it was. And well, I started coaching Jalen back in fourth grade with his dad, R.I.P. Mike Noel. Uh, I remember when he first came, and for some reason I hadn't seen him play much in the Pee Wee League, so I really didn't know much about him until he came to the practice. And right away, Jalen Noel stood out. Oh yes, yeah. When when Mike would play too, yeah, yeah. he would play in the league, different leagues, and uh, Jalen would be running around and uh, trying to shoot, and you know we had to chase him off during the little ti timeouts and everything. Oh my goodness, he would um, have his ball, basketball, and when I'd go over there to maybe babysit sometimes, <laughs> he was dunking that little basketball, and. Uh, I mean, he was the sweetest child. Jalen could score any any time he wanted to in this league, um, and so he would run off four or five baskets in a row, and then he would, um, his dad would give him that look, and he would slow down, and he would hand the ball to one of the little girls or one of the most accomplished players, and it was hilarious, you know, because you know it it taught him that you know you need to, you need a team, you know, he could do it by himself, but you know you need a team. So um, from that day forward, I just kind of knew what kind of you know what kind of young man I was dealing with, and and what kind of um, you know person in Mike that we you know we were dealing with. So, you know, I, I commend them for that. This is my big sister, Malika. Um, you know, she's been living in Georgia for a while. Um, yeah, she's shy. she's shy. She doesn't really talk. She's kind of like me. Um, no, you're like me. I'm the oldest. So, <laughs> little Michael. 
That boy got too much energy for me. Uh, uh, Mike is my uh, nephew. Uh, uh, all he wants to do is hoop. All he wants to do is play basketball. That probably might have been his first word, honestly. Because <laughs> all I hear is basketball, basketball, basketball. With a little bit of Iron Man, or Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man, he's he's gonna be coming up. You know, he's he's gonna be nice. He's gonna be nice. Seattle is my second home. Just not. I don't get to come out here that often as I would like to. But yeah, I remember coming out here in the summer. We were we were kids. I can't remember how old we were, but Jalen had to be every bit of two or three years old. Time has gone by so fast. So very proud of the man that he has become. Um, we used to spend times going to his games, uh, sometimes three or four in a row. We'd all be exhausted and he'd still be running up and down the court. And even when he was a younger kid back in the sixth, seventh, eighth grade through high school, um, his dad would bring him to work out with me. So Yeah, Adam, Adam my trainer, he, he was a trainer, uh, still is. and. Yeah, I used to train with him from like 6th to 8th grade, I want to say. A lot of people know Jalen for uh, just kind of his scoring and, and so forth, but he has a well-rounded game. But I think his offensive game is what has separated him. And that was where I developed. That was where I could truly say that I developed that fadeaway. We worked on a lot of things because when I first got him, um, some a lot of it, sometimes his balance was off. Sometimes his shoulders weren't square. Um, Sometimes his feet were pointed to the side. And so we tried to kind of hone those skills in because he had a natural touch. His form was, his form was pretty good already. Um, and so we just kind of tightened that up a little bit with the follow through and so forth. But he would always pick at all the things that were wrong with my jumper. A lot of it was just getting his balance and his, and his shoulders and feet squared up. At first, I was a little hard headed, head, headed boy, didn't listen. He would tell me, and I was like, okay, 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 whatever. But as I started to listen and started to pick up what he was saying. And once he got that, then we just started working on step backs and fallaways and pull-ups because I think of a lot of people, you analyze his game and you look at his game, he shoots a real pull-up jump shot. My jumper went from here to there. Um, yeah, man, I credit him for developing my jumper, and I'd like to thank him for that. He also is a good teammate. Sometimes that gets lost in the shuffle when you're talking about some of these high-level basketball players or high-level athletes, just as far as kind of being humble. I like how he acts on and off the court. I feel he has the right demeanor where he likes to challenge kids. At the same time, he's not a dirty player. And that's very rare. He's been doing that in the sixth grade all the way through high school now. And it's very rare that you find people that have that mid-level game to where it works against the best competition. It doesn't matter who he's playing against, but his fadeaways and his pull-ups um, are kind of what sets, sets him apart as far as being able to score the basketball, but he worked on that, and we started working on that at a very young age. Man, I feel I'm camp. I believe it was seventh grade year. There you go, Jack. Oh, well. That was that was one of my first camps. It was, it was a fun experience. Uh, I really liked it. Those top guys uh, playing an uh, all-star game. Yeah, I remember the gym out of too. Remember you remember them? 
Damn. Damn, this was number one in that camp. Back when Jalen was like sixth grade, I've had to say I was one of the first ones to recognize and call him Kobe. Um, I just seen it in him, you know. You don't want to really want to give him that label because it puts so much pressure on him. But uh, he was one of the first few kids that really took advantage of the mid-range game, and he did the fadeaway and he had all that up, and so he could score at will. So I just started to call him Kobe at a young age. Moving forward, you know, it's, it's just been a pleasure to watch this kid. He was in the gym working on that jump shot, and there's, it's not a coincidence that that thing goes in and, um, at the efficiency level that it does. Uh, it's not a coincidence that he's, you know, he has a high basketball IQ. It's not a coincidence that he loves the game. Um, it was instilled in him, and, you know, he, he's, he is taking it and running with it. Yeah, bro, like, running with, like, Tony, Pepe. Uh, Pepe. Josh Smith. Josh Smith, damn. Uh, Rio and Rio. Oh, they was Rio, cool. Gary Bell. It was, it was nice. Everybody was trying to do that. Like, everybody. I remember. Well, I used to just go to the games and be like, man, I'm trying to play like them. I'm trying to be like them when we get older. Everything like Tone had the little half sleeve. One was like white. <laughs> that was the most icy, though. I was the. Uh, I was looking for two months for a half sleeve like that. But they, they made it a rule that we couldn't wear that. Yeah, I, I was off that. I was, I was deep in. And we should, like, oh, this person is. Hey! Yeah, he didn't get my drift. Yeah. I had to tell you the article when I was there. He didn't get my drift. I know, he ain't see it. He shot post it. I was trying to punch it on your ass. I know, I wanted Al Water to put that on Instagram. Oh, yeah, we used to compare. Was, like, Tom, John John, who? Like, we used to pair each other up with, like, who played like who. It was, it was heck of fun watching them. Yeah, that was live. But now the table's turned, now. And now we, we're those, we were the dudes. That's crazy. Got, like, when you think brother. about it, it's like, yeah, but just like, them kids looking up to you now, just being able to to say that you're an alumni of Seattle Rotary. That's like one of the best programs in Seattle. You guys don't know what in-house is. Yeah, it would literally be like the NBA kinda. And that's that's why I loved it. But we used to go at it. At it. We used to take them games so serious and it would just split everybody up. It's like two it would be like two players to a team. I think they'd be like a draft too, like. Yeah, they would do draft. Yeah. <laughs> Then they used to throw text. I, I used to average a tech a game, I think. Not gonna lie. It was everybody. But I didn't even care. I was I was in it.
Come on, Jalen, that's you. Jalen? Upside, Jalen? You know he's gonna shoot, help side. Help side. been a pleasure to watch you know we've been fortunate you know to have some you know some fairly good ball players come through our program a lot of NBA guys a lot of division one basketball players a lot of division two NAIA junior college players have played you know here at Rotary um, but it's it's uh you know I, I may get in trouble for saying this but I I think Jalen may go down as probably the best offensive weapon um, that we've had here at Rotary um, and like I said, I may get in trouble for saying that because uh, we've had quite a few good players. But you know, the the guy's offensive skill set is is unprecedented. Everything that he's getting right now, um, it's you know, it was it was preordained, and you know, we're we're happy for him, proud of him, uh, and just you know, looking forward to seeing you know where this thing takes him. He has really grown uh, to be such a strong young man. He has made us all very proud um, with just who he is as a person, not even having to do with basketball, just uh, a good a good person. You know, I, I wanna commend him on what he's done, you know, as far as being an example for the younger kids in our program and his little brother and, and, the, and all the kids that look up to him in this community. You know, you've never heard about him getting in trouble at school or, or you know, grade wise or any of that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, that's, that's the, you know, the personable, speaks to the personable young man that he is. Um, I think everybody kind of knows about his basketball prowess. Uh, you know, it, it, it goes without saying. He's, he's been in the state championship several years. He's always been, you know, one of the main guys since uh, his freshman year at Garfield. Um, and then even prior to that, you know, when he, you know, was suiting up for Seattle Rotary, um, you know, he always represented us well, no matter where we played, who we played against across the United States of America. Everybody should know what these are. These are the ones. These are the, the state champion 2015 state championship Jalen Noel ones. <laughs>